Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chapman here. Hey. And on this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build this super sorter right here. This one is perfect for the raid farm, the 250k raid farm. But if you want, you can take the same principles here and then basically apply them to like an EOL farm or an insanely fast gold farm or something. Now this right here, this is absolutely everything that you are going to need in order to build this super storage thing, including the shulker boxes to get you started and all of the items for, yeah, Jcraft's six speed shulker loader. We're gonna be building four of his. So everybody go say thank you. And now, because we're building double speed item sorters, okay, these things, they require so much resources. So I suggest you just run your farm first, because for what we're building today, that is all, we, that is everything that we need. So before you build this, run your farm and get almost two stacks, a stack plus 41, almost two stacks of each item times the amount of item sorters that we are going to build. Now, before we start, make sure that all of your items from your raid farm or from whatever farm that you are using come out and are aligned right here with either honey blocks or chests. We need the hit boxes of all of those items to slightly go over top of the hoppers. See that? You need the items to slightly touch the hoppers in order for them to get picked up by it. So make sure all of your items are either aligned with honey blocks at the end here, chests, cakes, or something else. Now, to start, we have already started our little bubble column in our water stream right here. So we are just going to come in line with this thing. And I am going to build up six blocks in total. Place down a blue ice block, and then I am going to run this out 27 blocks in total. Once I'm at the end of my 27, I am just going to turn the corner now and run another row of 10 ice blocks. And then at the end of this, I'm going to play some soul sand, and that is going to be the path for where our items are going to flow across. Coming back here to the beginning of our ice blocks, I am going to take 10 of our redstone blocks and turn them into good redstone dust. And then from this first block where we built up, I'm going to build up two temporary blocks. I'm going to jump down. I'm going to build out two and then down one. Place another temporary block with a solo block and then one more temporary block. Building up, I am going to place down a solo block with a repeater with a solo block above it and then three pieces of redstone dust. A comparator facing in with a redstone torch down underneath in front of that repeater. Now just remove this temporary block, place a hopper going down. And that right there is the start of our item sorters. So now what I need to do is I need to repeat that 26 times in total. So 25 more times. Okay, and with our 26 item sorters in place with all of our redstone and our upper hoppers, we're just going to jump down to the bottom here. We're going to remove all of these temporary blocks. With those removed, we are going to come to our first nine hoppers right here. So our first nine, and we are just going to look up and we are going to place nine hoppers into the first nine there. So we want these ones basically pointing down like so. And then we're gonna come down to the end right here. And on the end three or the last three hoppers, we are gonna do the same thing, pointing down. And then for the in-betweens here, we are going to run a row of hoppers facing down off of the ice with a final row of hoppers going into the backs of those hoppers. And with that done, that is what your hopper arrangement should look like so far. So we're going to leave it at that right now. We're going to come back and we're going to fill all of these ones afterwards because, I mean, you guys seen how many items are in that chest. Yeah, it's the longest, it's the longest part of this build. But now what we're going to do is we are going to move on to Jcraft's six speed shulker loaders. And I'm going to run through this, not really run through this. I'm going to show you how to build this once. And we are going to do this in five layers. So standing right here under our first piece of vice next to our first item sorter, we're basically going to look to our left and we are going to remove one. The first four blocks that we see, we are then going to place down a barrel with three hoppers running into it and another hopper running down into that one with two solo blocks next to these hoppers and then another two offset of these blocks. For the second layer, we are going to jump up here and place down a comparator with a piece of redstone dust, another hopper going into that hopper, a solo block with a redstone block next to the comparator, a note block coming off the comparator with a redstone torch on the note block. We are then going to place an observer facing up with two more observers facing into that observer, a sticky piston on the end, and then an observer with its butt facing the in inwards like that. 
Next, we need to place a dispenser facing up with a shulker box on top of it. Turning around, we need a solid block above the redstone torch there with an observer facing down into the note block and another observer facing into that one. Jumping up here, we are going to make an X pattern now with our blocks like that. Place a hopper feeding into that hopper right there with three comparators, all of them facing forwards. Place a redstone torch in the corner with two pieces of redstone dust and then a target block in between those redstone dust with a redstone torch on the front of it. Coming to the back side here, we need two droppers facing into the shulker box with two hoppers going into those droppers. Another dropper facing down into the shulker box again with an observer on both your left and your right side facing forwards. Now this can get a little tricky, but we need two observers, both of them facing upwards. So you're just going to have to remove that block, but remember to replace it because we need to put a comparator on it facing forwards. With an oak block above both of the observers and another one above the redstone torch. An observer facing forwards into that redstone torch and then opposite into the left one. Place a solid block between these observers right here, between the note blocks, one to your left, one to your right. With a glass block right here in the corner that is going to stop any spawns from happening over top of this observer. Above this dropper right here at the back, we're going to place a hopper with another one going into that hopper. Two more hoppers feeding into the hoppers below them. With a repeater in the center, just set on the normal tick. And then to finish off our hoppers, we are going to jump down and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hoppers. Then we're going to have to build up on the back here three blocks so that we can place a piston facing in. So that is going to pop the shulker box when it is absolutely full of items. Then we are going to remove this observer and we are going to replace it with its face facing outwards because it got pumped out when we did that. And then finally, we're just going to take a dropper and place it underneath that piston feeding into this dispenser right here. So that's a dropper feeding into the dispenser. And with that all done, that is what you should have right there. As complicated as it looks and as complicated as it seems, if you just do it, yeah, it's not that complicated. But with that done, now, because we are running with a raid farm right beside it, we need to cover this entire thing here with some glass. And then we are going to repeat this three more times. Okay, with our four six-speed shulker loaders by Jcraft all done and in place, now what we're going to do is come to the inside here where we have this remaining section, and we are going to run a double chest like so, with a hopper going into the back of the double chest, so that hopper setup is going to provide the double fill speed into there. And then a double hopper into a double chest into another double hopper, finishing off with a double chest. And we are going to repeat that for the remaining for everything that we have here. And now with all of your hoppers and all of your sorters ready, now it is officially time. We have the daunting task. We have to, it's time to fill all of these things. So grab your upper fillers and grab your lower fillers and then grab your 64 plus the 41 of the items that you do want to sort. And starting with the bottom hopper right here, place in one, two, three, four of your lower fillers and then 64 blocks. As you can see, because it is locked, they're not they're not going anywhere. They're locked because of the redstone torch that is underneath there. And then in the upper hopper, run another four blocks with your 41. As you can see, nothing gets pulled down, but if it does fill, you can see it gets pulled out twice as fast. So four lower fillers plus 64, and then four upper fillers plus your 41. And then repeat that for all of your sorters for, yeah, whatever assortment and whatever arrangement that you want to do. Okay, and with all of your hoppers now officially full and ready into sort, okay, so you can see. Make sure all of these are completely full, okay? Make, don't skimp on any of them. If you, have, if you don't have enough items, just separate it from the system, okay? Just separate it from the system, but don't skim but with all of your sorting done now we just need to connect up our little water stream here run a row of glass along the front side here glass panes over top of these hoppers and then finish this off by running a row of ice above leaving a one block gap down here at the end in order to turn the corner we're just going to place down a temporary block or a glass block with a honey block on top of it and then some glass panes 
And then right here at the end, we just need to place a sign with a water source, light up our soul sand, and then cover all of this water and this ice with some glass. So that way no raid members spawn out here. Now coming up about halfway up the water stream here, anywhere along here, we just need to place a sign and then to the left of that sign, a water source. That way we can keep everything flowing this way. Okay, and with everything all done, all of your items in place, all of your water stream done, your fire right there, your final step before you go unleashing and sucking in all the items that you absolutely can, just set yourself up a couple, or more than a couple, four or five, but set yourself up any number of these double speed chest fillers. They don't really have to be double speed. And use these to collect your bulk overflow, like your totems, your crossbows, and your axes. Now, behind these six speed shulker loaders, in order to load these suckers up, we're gonna do something down there with, that, with those ones. But this one here, we're just going to place a hopper with a double chest above it, and then it's up to you however many of these you wanna put on here. For me specifically, I'm using banners for the fuel, yeah. So I don't need that many. I just need a double chest full of shulker boxes and I can smell 20,000 items. But for down here at these three, in order to cut down on some shulker boxes, what we are going to do is we are just gonna run three hoppers going into those droppers. And then at the end here, we are going to run one, two solo blocks, fill in the middle, run another solo block at the end with a redstone torch and then a solo block above that redstone torch. Place a powered rail here at the end with eight rails in between these. One power rail at the end with a solid block on the back side of it. Behind this first hopper right here, we are going to place down a solid block with a comparator and then another solid block in front of it. A redstone torch with a solid block above the redstone torch. Two more solid blocks and then one, two pieces of redstone dust. Final step is to place a redstone block beside that comparator right there, a hopper feeding into that powered rail right there with a double chest on top of it. Now you just make a handful of shulker boxes, load this chest up, place your minecart with chest right there, and then allow it to do its thing for a little bit. All you have to do is just go and just keep making shulker boxes and keep that thing full. Make sure you cover this block right here with some glass and even this redstone block and a glass block here above this where the minecart stop. But that is the shulker box reloader system. And that is going to keep your system full as long as you have extra shulker boxes, as long as this thing goes, this thing goes through. I'm just telling you right now, this thing rips through shulker boxes. So I hope you have a shulker form. And now with everything all done, your final thing to do is just place one, at least one shulker box right here in this dispenser before you start running the farm. And once you have one shulker box in each of your dispensers, you should be good to now run your farm and start pulling in. This setup, this setup pulls in 220 something thousand items per hour. We burn about 30,000 items per hour and this setup right here, even with this, we're burning 500 emeralds, 589 emeralds per hour. It's kind of crazy, but there it is. As you can see, this thing, this thing, well, the farm, we already know the farm rips, but there it is. Remember everybody, Jcraft, Jcraft, and that is your super sorter. Thank you so much for everybody for watching. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.